employer is looking for bright and talented employees to join their workforce. So it's important to understand the visas that allow U.S. employers to bring foreign talent over. Today we are joined by Leon Versfield of Versfield and Hugo to tell us all about it. Good morning. How's it going? Uh, good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. So tell me, what are the most common U.S.-based employment visas that you see employers using? I would say the most common one that U.S. employers use is the H-1B visa. There's only 65,000 of these visas per available per year and uh, employers are able to register to apply for these visas in as early as March. Oftentimes we see more than 300,000 applicants so the sooner you register the better your chances are of getting one of these visas and these visas are specifically used in the industry where a bachelor's degree is required and you as the employee have a bachelor's degree. The other one is the intercompany transfer visa where you transfer some of your foreign employees from your foreign company to the US company. Then we have the agricultural workers who work on the farms, the seasonal workers that you see mowing the grass, doing some of the hard labor around here. And then those who come from certain treaty countries are able to come over here on E2 investor visas. So those are the most common ones, aside from obviously the, the, the folks that we help to come over here as um, athletes. Okay, so what is an I-9 compliance and why is that so important for employers? So that's a very good question because it's a question that's not oftentimes asked in the immigration world. Mm -hmm. The I-9 is a form that all U.S. employers have to complete irrespective of if their employee is a foreign national or not. And this is the very document that Immigration Customs and Enforcement uses when there is an audit done to determine whether or not it's completed 100% and accurately in order to determine whether or not there's fines and or even worse if there's criminal activity that was uh, if um, involved with it to further uh, to send it to the U.S. Attorney's Office for further prosecution. Okay all right well this has been a lot of great information so if people want to learn more get in touch with you how can they do that? Uh, they can reach us on our website uh, or they can call the number that's on the screen listed below. All right thanks so much Leon. Thank you. Legal Talk has been paid for by Versfeld and Hugo Law Firm. For more information, visit versfeldlaw.com.